Hello YouTube viewers, back at Blue Engine here. And I just skipped to the last part of the boss fight because it'd be way too tedious. Plus I didn't have much to say anyway, so might as well. So yeah. Uh gotta get a ring, gotta get a ring. I can't get those two rings because I'm hovering above nothing. Alright, so you know, I just gotta play it safe. Uh <coughs> Come on, hit me. Come at me, bro. Is there any more? Yes, rings. Good. He's going. I know he's coming. I know it, but uh, the move. Okay, good. So I got some time to pick up some rings. Now he's moving. Stop tripping! Sonic, it's I really hate how they suddenly switch you to the to the position of Sonic's feet all of a sudden. Look, it's yeah, 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 yeah! Great, Dan Green, great. There we go. Yes, you actually have a limited amount of time to get him. So, oh, jeez. I actually did it the way they wanted me to do it. Which took longer, but it got the job done. Oh, gosh. Well, you can't complain. At least I did it. I mean, no seriously, problem. this game is not a pleasure for me to play. And you know, the only good thing I found about the, uh, have to say about this game is the acoustic version of his world at the end. It's pretty good. Looks like we made it back in one piece. Oh my gosh. Where did Shadow and Rouge go? Did they appear someplace else? Those two can take care of themselves. What well, is <clears throat> seriously, what does it say in that newspaper that has, you know, Sonic so flabbergasted right there? I mean seriously. Alright. So we're not exactly going to hit the next mission yet, because we need to buy something. And Sonic is pulling off his inner Spider-Man in order to, you know, get the item. So now we have the bounce bracelet that we can make us bounce from Sonic 06, not Sonic 06, no, not Sonic 06, from, uh, uh, I forget which one it was. But uh, now we're going to do some town missions. I didn't want to do that one about the three months of the years because it's utterly pointless. Now, after we jumped all of this woman, disgusting the crew, we're gonna have to help her because Dan Green doesn't shut up. Anyways, the real mission is that we have to attack a car. Yeah. Darn it, I pressed the wrong button. Anyways, you're just gonna need to chase down this car, and I, some people I know will use Red Gem, but all you need to do is continually, continuously mash the X button until, you know, the car blows up. And you only need to go right beside him. And so, now we got it. Yeah, basically all you need to do is attack a poor defenseless driver. And for all we know, the guy could be like across the street and say, Hey buddy, you want a car? I'm selling it for free. Here, take it. But seriously, lady. Anyways, S rank is only a thousand points, so it's not much, but hey. I'm not complaining. And seriously, this game is bad. Anyways, after completing that pointless side mission, we're gonna do a couple more. Why? Because I feel like it. Uh, which one is this? Oh, yes. 
This is the one where I have to get some guy's floppy disks. I'm not kidding, I actually have to get some of the guy's floppy disks. Anyways, uh, get the guy's floppy disks, that's all. And seriously, beat up bad guys and get floppy disks. Anyways, now we I can show off how to use the bounce person. Uh, in SA, okay. In SA2, you're only able to use a bounce bracelet to, um, you know, bounce to higher places. But in this game, they do you a little more lenient with it because they allow you to actually kill enemies with it. And yes, the floppy disk will actually glow, so don't worry if you don't know what it looks like. The game basically tells you what it is, looks like. And yes, you won't be able to gather another floppy disk unless you kill all the enemies in the area. So, you know, instead of mash, pointlessly mashing the A button, uh, the bounce bracelet allows... What the heck? Okay. The bounce bracelet allows you to, <clears throat> you know, kill enemies without mashing the in of the A button. Because in this game, that's all you're basically going to do because you can't jump on them. So, see how monotonous this is? This is getting by using the homing attack, bounce bracelet, plus it kills the enemies faster, and, uh, yeah. Last floppy disk. Alright, so now we're saying thank you, but you see it's too stupid to realize he needs to put those floppy disks onto a hard drive, and, you know, maybe encrypt some virus in the floppy disk, so if someone steals them, you know, they won't be able to get them. Seriously, simple as that. Anyways, more side missions. And we're not done yet. We at least have to get one more. One more. One more. One last one. Come on. Here's your, oh, thank goodness. No, thank goodness. Not yet. I'm, lo I'm actually looking for one side mission in particular. I think it's... A Oh, I right there that a cat was standing on top of a box. Anyways, uh, a side mission I actually want to get done is Festival of the Rings, but I didn't think... No, 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 it can be done here. Is this a guy? Is this a guy? Yes, this is a guy. I at least want to get the Festival of the Rings one out of the way, because it's the one that I really have to show off. Did that guy just clip through him? Alright, so the Festival of, of Rings is... Okay, so in Lamus terms... The, fe the Festival of Rings ceremony is you collecting rings and breaking boxes. That's it in Lamus terms. And you actually have to hit the boxes with the star on top of them and collect the rings. But remember, it has to be the boxes with the star on top of them, not the one that are not the ones that are numbered, because they don't drop the rings. Oh gosh. Oh, this is basically all I'm doing. Collecting rings, breaking boxes, collecting rings, breaking boxes, breaking boxes, collecting rings. And another thing, the reason you have to break the box with the star on top is because if you don't know, the box with the star on top causes the other box to spawn in, and it goes on from there, so... Yeah, you also have to get the ring boxes too, but, uh, they don't penalize you as much as, you know, getting, uh, the boxes. So now we got Dash Bags! Now you're gonna need to actually collect all these rings for some particular reason, because if you don't collect all of them, then, uh, you're not gonna be- That was too close. You're not gonna be able to spawn in those other boxes. But thank goodness for tripping animations, am I right? If not, I would have died, and that would have been nice. I mean, that wouldn't have been nice. That would have... I suddenly have a personal vendetta against Sonic. Anyways, uh, we're coming close to the end of it, actually. So, yeah. Oh, and by the, by the way, I am not doing any silver metal hunting, because that's going to take way too much time. And, you know, I actually like my time and life. So, yeah. See what I mean? Like, you could have missed that one box just because you thought, oh, it's alright, I, I got it. 
No, you don't. No, that's not actually the way I want to go. I want to select these two rings. Yes, I'm not much of a collector, guys. Alright, here we go. And we are done. Alright. That's it. That's all we're doing. Not for the video, for the side missions. That was incredible! Uh. Anyways, now we can go to the mission. I'm not saying anything. Wait, did I actually get lies from doing those missions? Oh, right, the last one. Yeah, you can't get past it because, you know, these guards are actually guarding it. And I'm not, I'm not feeling any reason to get another loading scene. So what you need to do is go here. Go in here. Go in there. Sonic, please go in there. There we go. I pop out the other side, and... Yeah. Alright, so... There's actually a reason for doing that particular side mission. To die. Yeah. Man, there goes my extra lives. I really hate that about this game. I mean, seriously, you try to do a light speed dance, you do that anti gravity move, and uh, it's really annoying. Alright, so, after I lost that one extra life, uh, yes, you actually need a lot of all the life you can get because this is the mock speed section. Uh, here we go. Oh, skip the vent, skip the vent. Made it! Alright, good. Alright, yes. Uh, Elise is actually on that train over there. And, uh, if you let Elise run, run into the wall, she will die. Why? Because those walls actually have bombs on it. And, uh, no, you're not able to use, you know, Sonic's awesomeness plus one to, you know, Make Elise not go on the train, but no, 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 darn it! Yes, that's another thing I hate. The, those random, weird scales. I'm not even saying anything for that one. Alright, I'm not gonna have enough for the, um, for what you call it, the mock speed section. Nah, I'm already, I'm already down to five lives, and the level just started. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I really hate Radical Train. I mean, it is a long level. But it's not a long level that, you know, you're gonna get used to in like five minutes. You know, it's a really long and annoying level because, you know, sometimes Sonic likes to do whatever he wants. So, at least we're getting close to the bomb wall, so we gotta shrug, we gotta move. Mm, yeah! Yeah, okay, good. Eat it! Oh my gosh, where? Where? Okay, it's there. Let's move! Alright. Alright, we're getting really close to the wire now. By wire, I mean the mock speed section. Uh, here we go. Uh, really hate the mock speed sections. And that, that is a why? You actually have to go on the rails, and you will go faster than going... If you go on the rails, you go faster than you would be on top of a train. I mean, seriously, simple logic, Sonic. Okay, here we go. Mod speed section, the one I hate the most. Because everything is coming at you so fast. You just gotta see me fail to believe it. 
Now Sonic starts trucking as fast as he can. Oh jeez! Okay, space jump from Super Metroid activates. I don't. I'm not questioning it. All right. I'm not questioning it. Yeah. What the heck? I'm actually doing well. What is this? Is Elise on board? I don't know. She. Yeah. That, yes, now the train starts exploding, so be careful, don't light speed dash. We're so close. Don't light speed dash, Sonic! I'm almost there. I noticed. Please, hang on. Yeah, get it, get it. Whoa, that was close. Alright, so I'm wrong. I didn't fail. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I got that on camera. Sweet. First person Too not easy. to fail. You know, sweat. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm. Oh wow. I'm really shocked that I did so well at that. I mean, that's a mock speed section. I almost pulled my hair out. <sighs> but it will get harder later on. I knew it. Oh, I knew you'd return. You had to. <gasps> that's what the script said. No, I wonder if Silver is deaf and, you know, like, blind in one eye, because he just totally ignored that. That would be cool if you had shoulders. Fighting Silver again? Heck no! Heck no! We're gonna steal Mario's deal! I like how Eggman's like, wait, what the heck? She actually jumped? <laughs> you won't get away that easily. Alright, now we're fighting the Egg Genesis, which is actually a pretty easy boss, because I know all the glitches. Uh, yeah, I know all the glitches. So, yeah, oh, wow, I almost got hit. You can never get hit. Anyways, uh, Egg Genesis. Pretty easy boss. Uh, when he comes down, you're supposed to go up his arms, but... Bounce bracelet! Yeah! You gotta say about that! Yes, you're actually supposed to go up his arms because there are, you know, it spits out robots. But again, bounce bracelet. I can glitch my way up there. Because, you know, that... Giant orange thing looks like you're supposed to hit it, right? I mean, it's not just me. And, uh, you know, when you hit it, it an arm falls off. I mean, that looks like what you're supposed to do. And most gamers would do that by accident, but no, you actually have to bounce on its head. Alright, so now it gets, you know, pissed off, and now it's gonna shoot a beam. But, I mean, it's charging up its laser. But still, it's no threat. What the heck? I didn't even know what the... Wow. A glitch I didn't even know of. I could damage it from there. Okay, that works. Uh, I also like to thank uh, Brain Scratch Comics for actually showing uh, everyone how to do this in case someone wasted their time with this. Thank you, Brain Scratch Comics.
If you don't know them, you should check them out. They're free or whatever it is. Alright. And the boss, right? That easy. But now, the Egg Genesis, you know, is not happy with our victory. So now, it's, it's gonna, you know, attempt a suicide crash. Which, no one should ever get hit by. I mean, the thing's so big, I'm lapping it. I mean, yeah, your attempt is futile, futile and all that crap. Too easy. No sweat. No, duh. I, like, breeze through radical tra- Oh, you mean the boss fight? Yeah. Yeah, what if you oh, die? Yeah, you bet. Sonic! I'll head into the jungle. Okay. Well, that was the worst running animation I've ever seen in my life. Alright guys, uh, I'm actually gonna stop right here because we don't want to take forever on the YouTube uploader. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time. And don't worry, this part, the next part won't take as long because I'm recording it right now as we speak. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment. And, uh, this is Black Blue. 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 Black